Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial and my name is Buddy Blackbird. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create an intense lighting effect that simulates like when your eyes are like almost like blinded by light and everything kind of looks blurry but um, still like very lit up. So <clears throat> the way we're gonna do that is by using an effect called CC Light Burst 2.5 and this is an After Effects CS6 and we're gonna apply it as an adjustment layer and I'm gonna go over how it works as on just any old layer and how it works uh, as an adjustment layer because it works differently so let's uh, get started and um, what, I, what I am going to do is just delete out my layer that I have here actually I want to show you what uh, what it kinda looks like and what you can do with it I just made a simple animation with it so let's check it out it kind of simulates when someone like maybe like wakes up in the morning and they're looking up at the sky and maybe they see this logo in their face somehow. And you can um, keyframe how intense it is and how intense it isn't. So this is uh, what you can kind of do with it, and this is what we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do. So let's uh, I'm going to delete out my adjustment layer that I have here, and we're just going to start out with a solid background. So I want to show you how it works. Actually, we'll just start out like this. And I'm going to show you how it works in like a picture like this. So I've picked out a picture that has a, a realistic looking um, light source coming from the back that would possibly be pretty bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an adjustment layer. And I go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. I'm going to co um, come up onto the Effects panel but I'm going to right click on this and go to effect um, generate CC light burst 2.5 and this is the default settings that it comes out with now this doesn't look too realistic because, uh, because of the way we're looking at uh, things so the light source should be coming up from here but instead it looks like it's coming from straight behind so what we need to do is move this center right here and if I click on this little crosshairs it brings up the uh, a cursor where I can set the light source from wherever I want so I click from here and now it looks more like I'm looking down at the uh, logo and the uh, light source is coming from the middle here and you can see the rays that are coming out now we've got our intensity here and we've got our ray length. These are your main um, things that you want to use. So if we lower the intensity, just watch what happens to the scene. It doesn't. It, you can see where from the center it uh, lowers the light source and everything like that. So if I just increase it a little, that was a, a little change. And if I increase it a lot you can see how much it blows out and everything onto, else onto the scene. Now we got our ray length here which is going to change how long these uh, uh, rays are on like the logo and on the background and everything. Basically how long it's blurred out kinda. So if I put this down to something like 10, the ray length is way less. If I put it to something like 30, the ray length is half of almost half of what it was last time. And if I'll do something like 100, it's going to be way like blurred out, which is fine sometimes. So I'll keep it on 50 right now. Now we've got our burst here, which is a drop down menu that has three different uh, sections. So we've got fade, which is the one that you most likely usually want to use. We've got straight which um, the in the fade the fade you your uh, light rays fade out into uh, pretty much like fade out into like nothing and um, in the straight here the light rays don't fade out you can see the word delicious spa again and the uh, it kinda like extends like a blurry version of the logo and then you also have center which um, pretty much comes just 
brings everything from the center and everything like that. And you can see what these do better on the uh, on just like a solid background. But there's the idea of that. Then you got Halo Alpha, and our background doesn't have an alpha, so it's gonna just do nothing. And we've got set color, which is kind of useless, and does this. <laughs> you can end up picking a color, and I um, mean, pretty much just like it just does something like that, where you can lower the opacity if you want. It just pretty much picks a huge color, and there is um, intensity in the background. So if I turn this up, maybe you can see how it gets intensified you there's like a, a light source looking thing there that you can use so that's how that works usually I don't use set color it's not that great so that's how it works as an adjustment layer now we can keyframe things in here so let me change this back to fade because that's the most natural and it'll just come into in like one second and then we can keyframe the ray length and the intensity. And then over time, we can just lower those. Just lower it to zero and, I don't know, like zero again. Let's see what that looks like. And then if I do a ramp preview, it's going to do that thing that I uh, do the animation that I had last time. Now I'm ramp previewing it right now so we can see what's going on.